We're here with artist, designer, and apparel guy, Def. What's up? How's it going, man? <laughs> These days you get paid for it, so it's a mural, but back in the day it was just graffiti. <laughs> right, it would still be called graffiti because it's still I'm using the same you know, technique and stuff like that. It's just, you know, yeah, you get paid for it. Right. I don't see why it still wouldn't be called that. So as an artist, that's where your roots kind of came up. Why don't you talk about that a little bit? Where I grew up, yeah, it was a pretty uh, gang dominant, like high school and junior high. And with gangs, uh, you know, I grew up seeing that there's, you know, writing on the walls and, you know, doing their street names and stuff like that. And so it kind of turned me into, onto a lot of that stuff. This is Southern there. California we're talking about too. Right. Yeah. This is actually from the Inland Empire, the land of the dirt people where a lot of people say, <laughs> but I don't know why. So at what point did the canvas change? You went from graffiti to actual canvas? I believe it changed when, you know, you start becoming a grown adult and you got to pay bills, you know, and you start realizing, well, okay, I either go to jail and I need to pay a fine to the city or I do this either way, I'm not getting paid for it. So why not do something I love and get paid for it? So who are some of the people that inspired you? Three dudes that have really inspired me who actually have taken my graffiti to another level, which would be guys like Jeff Soto um, that used to do graffiti under the name Trek, Max242, Crayola, who have guys that have gone from graffiti into art galleries. Let's talk about To Die For, which is your clothing company. Where did the inspiration to start a clothing company or line come from? What we were doing was screen printing for a lot of uh, pretty much merch for bands. We would go to shows and be up right, you know, set up a merch booth just like we would if we were a band. Um, and start, we started selling directly to the hardcore kids, you know, we're selling to the kids that we are. Um, so that kind of ca caught on, all the kids loved it, started eating it up and we were going, wow, this is doing really well, let's take it another step and start bringing it to retail and stuff like that. So it became kind of like a instant success because nobody in that industry was actually doing that. They were just doing band merch, you know, nobody was doing that. So we were like, all right, let's run with it, supply these bands with shirts. So let's talk about toys. You, uh, you had a toy that uh, Kid Robot did, right? right? Uh, how did that come about? I got approached to just be you know, in a series. With they, they released these series of dunnies. What they do is they blind box them and they throw them in these, uh, just like baseball cards, you open up the pack, you don't know if you're gonna get a Don Manley rookie card or <laughs> Ron Say or something, you know? But I never knew anything like, hey, this is gonna be an ult ultimate catch to these kids. You know, I just was like, hey, doing what I do is putting 110% in it, I'm gonna take this to the next level. And it turned out to be like the chase of the, uh, of the series, which is, the, the toy out of the series that everybody wants, and that's what they call a chase. As you kind of continue your career, where do you see yourself? I just kind of take it as it's thrown at me, you know? Uh, you know, I would, I would definitely like to see myself being a successful clothing, you know, owner to like the next level of what, what it's already at, um, but not be actually working in it. You know, I would like to just kind of be set back and give the yes or no, and <laughs> tell somebody <laughs> get fired if I could but <laughs> I'm not that kind of person but yeah just you know I would like to you know tell people what I would like you know and not have to actually be the one physically working in it and drawing it at all and just like to draw, draw for fun. You know, I would definitely like to do more toy stuff. I find myself not really into the whole gallery kind of art and I am not into like even going to gallery shows you know and seeing myself selling at one but who knows you know sometimes things catch and you kind of just run with it and you know, but I just want to do what I do and it's, if I can run my own clothing company and do graffiti on the side, I'm content and I'm good. <laughs> Thank you. I'd shake your hand, but you're a little <laughs> in the mix. <laughs> but if you want to find out more about Def, you can go to his website at ICan'tHear.com or you can go to his clothing company's website, which is to die for clothing.com. Thanks a lot. Thank you.